Hello again and welcome back to the Fat Fish Guitar Studio where today we're going to be taking a look at some picking exercises. Now I did a video recently where I talked about a like a whole sort of picking exercise workout where there was lots of exercises but they were very sort of mathematical and chromatic uh, in their approach all sort of like type of uh, patterns. What we're going to be looking at in this video though is something a bit more musical in that we're going to be deriving the picking exercise patterns from scales. And there's a bit of scope for you to be creative with this and I'll show you how you can use Fat Fish to support you with the exercises. So let's start off with uh, C natural minor. I haven't used C natural minor for a while. So we've got that scale. <laughs> do is just look at the, the, the notes that we've got available in that scale and come up with a little pattern based around it. So you could do something like this, you could start off say on the C, uh, go up to the second degree, then come off down to the root again, then go down to flat 7, flat 6 and 5. practice that on its own and yeah it gives you a bit of an exercise um, all the usual stuff alternate picking coordination between your left hand and your right hand and so on and that's all well and good but what we want to do is to kind of take this pattern and explore that all the way through the scale so we'll play that pattern of notes but starting on each degree of the scale so we start on C then we'll say go down to the next note in the scale which is B flat and play the same pattern so we'll go up to the next note in the scale and back down to the root and then down through so we had then and we can do that on every note of the scale to help you work those notes out what we can do is fire up Fatfish and I'll show you how we can build these patterns. Right, so Fatfish is running here and we've dialed in the C natural minor scale, which is what we're going to be working with for this exercise. If I go to the tools menu, I can select pattern builder and here we can see all the patterns that I've already got built into my copy of Fatfish. What I'm going to do is create a new one for, for this video. So I click on new and in here I can define uh, the, the pattern. So I'll give it a name. And what we're going to do, well, we're going to start on the first degree, then we're going to go up to the second degree in the scale, and then go back down to the root. Then from the root, we go down to the flat seventh degree, which in this case is the seventh degree of the scale, and then go down to the flat sixth, which is the sixth degree of the scale, and down again to the fifth. I can just preview that now. Okay, that's a little bit fast but what I'll do for now is just save that so it's now into my pattern library and click on OK. Before we take it any further I'll tweak some of the uh, the playback settings so if I go to options, play settings what I'll do is slow that down so we can see a little bit more about what's going on. Just look right the way down there, click on OK and if I go here into the uh, little play section down the bottom pattern for video and that one that I've just created is now on the list. So let's hear that uh, just descending over one octave. Click on play. Okay, how about we go to the options, play settings. Let's start a bit further up the neck. Let's start an octave six and descend that over two octaves. Hear the full thing through. So with that pattern programmed into Fat Fish, 
you can set the playback speed and get Fatfish to play it and you can play along. So you're kind of using Fatfish as your metronome. And as I always say with exercises like this, only go as fast as you can. Don't sorry, add more speed at the cost of accuracy. You, it's important that you play the notes evenly and smoothly. You know, each note in the pattern lasts as long as every other note. If you get to the point where you're stumbling a little bit and the phrasing's going off, that's probably a sign that you're trying to play it a little bit too quick. So back the tempo down a little bit until you get really comfortable. Once you, you've got the, the, the accuracy right at that speed, then you can start to crank the speed up a little bit, a little bit more and a little bit more as you get more proficient. Don't try and run before you can walk. And here we're using the natural minor scale, but obviously you could dial in a different scale type into Fatfish. If you want to get familiar with this, the sound of another scale or just kind of orientate yourself with where the notes are on the fingerboard, then it's useful to take an exercise like this, select the scale that you want to, to practice and run through the, the, the scale at a, again at a speed that, uh, that works for you. For example, back in Fatfish, Instead of using the C natural minor scale, why don't we use the C harmonic minor? Go back, let's play that pattern descending over an octave and compare the sound to this to what it was with the natural minor. So same pattern same relative uh, notes from the scale but because we're using a different scale we get a different sound and obviously here we just come up with one little uh, pattern but you can experiment uh, come up with your own little riffs and ideas program those into the fast fish riff builder and come up with your own library of, of exercises that you want to use and include as part of your, your daily practice routine also once you've got a pattern if it works really well for you and you want to transfer it say like from your main computer to a uh, computer that you take with you so I know some people have like the big computer in the at home and then take a laptop around with the with them if they're traveling there's a or you want to share uh, the practice pattern that you've come up with with somebody else then there's like an import export feature in Fatfish I've done a separate video about that and I'll put a link to it in the information section down there if you want to have a look at that okay so that's that plenty for you to be getting on with and practicing as always, if you've got any questions or you want to make a suggestion for a future video, then you can go here. There's a form where you can uh, submit your question. And if you do, please you know, give me your name and tell me a little bit about yourself and where you are in the world. It's always good to know about who it is that's watching these videos. Please, if you've enjoyed this video, do click on the like button, subscribe, comment, all the different options that YouTube gives you down there. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in another video next time. Bye for now.